What is up YouTube and today we're going to be talking all about the final boss of episode 2 in Epic 7, that is Strays. We're going to be talking mostly about his PvP build. I'm going to talk about his PvE build very slightly but on the screen here it's going to be the PvP setup. Now my Strays isn't the best I know uh, but it is workable. I can use him in RTA, in High Champion and Emperor and do just fine with him. Uh, it's very hard to build him I'd say for PvP especially speed wise. But if you can get these stats, you can see that he'll be a very powerful unit to have in your arsenal. So let's actually talk about his Mulagora. So mine's actually not great for PvP. I have him on a PvE Mula setup, which is S3 maxed out. And then I have his S1 with some Mulas to actually do with like dual attacks from like Aeros and my one-shot hunts and stuff like that and Camilla. So not the most optimal Mulagora setup for strays, but in PvP, uh, what you want is your S3 maxed out. Ideally, actually you need this maxed out. And then ideally you want your S2 maxed out as well, and your S1 doesn't really matter too much. Um, if you can obviously plus 15 him, it's better, because he does get quite a few turns sometimes, because he has invincibility. But for the most part, for PvP, if you have S3 maxed out, you're sh you should be fine. He's mostly S3 and then you kind of just win after. But if you want more AoE damage, his S2 Mulgoras are very, very nice to have as well, because his S2 will hit super hard, especially if you have attack buff. Um, also keep in mind, his S2 does more damage with less units, uh, so actually... When you do S3 at the start, you want to shot something. Uh, you're going to see that his S2 does a ton more damage after. But yeah, his main gimmick is you S3, one shot a low speed, high HP, low attack unit. So it'd be like Air Wells, uh, HP scaling bruisers, Apoc Ravis, tanks, like Last Rider Crown, stuff like that. Meteor Carrix. And then you have invincibility, and then you just S2 on the next turn and you just win. So he's a very good tank busting unit. Now for his build, there are multiple builds you can do, and it really depends on how you want to use him. So you can build him super fast. Um, I've seen even like 280, 290 strazes, but usually you're gonna see strazes around like 250-ish, 260. If you can't get that high, it's fine. Uh, just make sure you have the damage requirements filled out. The damage requirements are going to be 100% crit chance. I'd say 270% crit damage is the minimum. And for attack, you want 3,500 attack at minimum. Now you wanna make sure your attack is as high as possible because your S3 defense penetration will actually scale with the difference in attack with strays and the um, lowest attack enemy on the enemy side, I think. Sorry, not the lowest attack, the highest HP, which usually ends up being the lowest attack, right? So definitely want to make sure his attack is at the very least 3,500. Honestly, you want to push for 4k if you can. Mine's pretty low. Um, you can even sacrifice some crit damage for it, but if you have above 3,500 attack with 270% crit damage at least, you'll find yourself with attack buff, you'll be one-shotting pretty much everything. For your speed, like I mentioned, obviously you want faster, but if you do build him slower, what you can actually do is bring him with something to push him up. A good example of this would be a unit such as like DN if you have her, or even a mid, because a mid has that senior push with the attack buff, which is very, very nice. Um, but Deanne has like an attack buff as well. Amelia is also very good because she has an attack buff with the CR push. I'd say Amelia or a mid are going to be your best options, although one is a collab unit in Amelia and one is limited in a mid. Uh, if you don't have those units, you can use a unit known as Auxiliary Lots. I don't think I have him built, um, but yeah, this unit here, um, basically you can use him with an S2 to push up your strays and just give him that attack buff. You can build strays on zero speed that way. Just keep in mind that... Um, you have to be careful of like politics and stuff like that, but still very good. Uh, but yeah, for strays, you definitely need an attack buff, and that's why for his artifact, you're going to want to run him on Banamaru's Tachi. Now, this artifact is um, limited from the, I believe it's the Slime Collab, I believe. You're going to see that it is mostly used on strays, and that is because if you have this artifact for strays, first off, you have immunity, which is very nice at the start of battle. It's going to be good against like AOL defenses and stuff like that in case they get their S1 off on you after you reset their cooldowns with like a Noggle or Lua. Uh, but it's also very nice because you can see at the start of the turn when you don't have a debuff, you have a chance to get attack buff. And this attack buff, if you have it on strays, makes it so that you don't actually need another attack buffer like Meteor Cowric, Amelia, or a mid, which means you can just draft him in a full cleave comp or you don't have to actually need a support unit around with him. He can actually support himself, uh, which is a big plus. Now, if you don't have this artifact, you can actually just run an attack buffer with him. I highly recommend that you do. Without attack buff, his S3 will not one-shot a lot of units. Uh, so if you don't have this artifact, or even if you don't have this maxed out, you want to run him with an attack buffer. Now, mine's not maxed out, but I still just use it because <laughs> three out of four times it works. 
one out of four times it doesn't, but even though it doesn't proc, uh, usually this does enough damage anyways for me to finish off the tank the following turn with his S2 or S1. So I just pray that it works most of the time, but ideally you do want this plus 30, but not a lot of people do have this plus 30 because this artifact is only really good on him uh, and like Benamaru, but Benamaru is not that great. So most of the time you're not going to see people have this at plus 30 unless they're whales or they have bottles saved up. But yeah, if you don't have this, you can use another artifact like I mentioned. Uh, I think Draco Plate works just fine as well. Draco Plate is very good. Uh, you can also use an artifact such as Symbol of Unity for extra damage. But most commonly, if you don't want to use those two because you have them on other units, which is understandable, you can use Portrait of Savior as well. This just makes your damage do a ton more, and it's pretty much the same as the artif artif artifacts. You're just missing the hit chance and the damage reduction. So yeah, this is definitely how you want to build your strays. Uh, I'm not saying mine's the best, like I said, but pretty good milestones to reach for are, like I mentioned already a million times, 3,500 attack. Speed is really up to you. Uh, you can even have him at base speed if you're using auxiliary lots or like Amelia or a mid. Uh, not base speed with a mid or Amelia, but base speed with auxiliary lots and crit chance 100%, and you want 300 or 270% plus crit damage. Uh, obviously, stats are really going to be on what gear you have. Speed set and crit chance set are going to be very good. You can also run them on torrent, it's technically better, but I like crit chance because I don't really need the torrent set to one shot tanks, anyways. Uh, and this build makes it so I can actually invest more sub stats into speed because crit chance is giving me um, obviously critical hit chance from that set. So, pretty powerful unit. Definitely recommend using him. If you're going to run him in a PvE setup, you can just run him on a rage set with crit chance set or torrent set, like I mentioned, and just go full damage with base speed. He's very powerful in Arena Offense, very powerful in Guild Wars Offense, and very powerful in RTA as well, if you pick him late into a slow draft, and he can just one-shot teams very easily. So I'm going to show you guys how he actually works in an Arena Offense setup, and you guys can see for yourself how powerful he can be against those pesky, tanky defenses that you see all the time. And here I'm going to show you how easy this uh, Strays team can be against slower teams. So. Noggle with a book holder to Solburn my S3. Uh, the book holder is specked to the You can use pretty much anyone. Then I'm going to S2 the Landy so I can actually crit her with my Watcher Shuri. And AOL is going to go into Strays, but it doesn't matter because Benamaru's Tachi here gives him immunity for the start of the battle. And also, you can see he got that, that attack buff from the uh, Benamaru's Tachi, so you don't need an attack buffer with that artifact. If you don't have it, you can run him on Portrait and run him with an attack buffer, it's fine. Like Meteor Cowric or Emilia, or whatever. Yep, we one-shot the um, air well there. I'm just gonna S3 into ML Landy. And you can see, pretty simple. This pretty much counters any defense team that is slow, that doesn't have like Savior Aiden. Savior Aiden is very good in the strays because of course she can dodge, but you can get around that actually if you actually um, you know, sleep her with a unit. So you get attack buff again because Tachi's OP. <laughs> so we're gonna S2 here. My S2 doesn't do a lot, I don't have Emola as you guys saw, but still fine. And this should kill the Rwana, so pretty simple. So yeah, Stray is definitely a very powerful unit to have. You guys chose him from the Moonlight Recruitment event, this is how you want to build him for PvP. For PvE, you just want him on Rage set uh, with Crit Chance set or Torrent set with minimum speed and just as much attack and crit damage as possible to one-shot bosses. But for PvP, this build is fine for him. Obviously, mine's not the best, but around this ballpark, you should be good. So if you guys have any questions or want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And also let me know down below, like I said, if you have any questions about Stray's build.